Hey Freebs Nation, Jordan Page from FunCheaperFree.com here. We are on vacation and you know what? I thought it would be pretty nice to show you all of our hacks, tips and tricks for road tripping with kids. What do you say, buddy? Oh yeah! weekend getaway decided to go on a little road trip and come down to southern Utah but you know what road tripping with six kids nine and under is not for the faint of heart and we get a lot of questions about what we pack what we do how do we keep them entertained in the car how do we stay organized and what types of places do we stay in and then of course most importantly how do you do it affordably you're gonna take a minute and just walk through everything I can think of that shows you how we survive road trips with little kids Let's do it. Let's talk about food and snacks for a minute. A lot of you who follow me on Instagram over here, and if you don't, you should. We have a lot of fun over there. Know that one of our favorite things to do is to create individual snack bags for our kids. I do show this on some of my other travel videos as well, so check those out. They are identical, but we do have their names on them. They get them in the car when they start complaining about being hungry, and we explain to them, look guys, when they're gone, they're gone, and they can eat them at will. This helps us to avoid having to bring big containers of snacks in the car. Nothing in here is perishable. It's just granola bars, fruit leather, crackers, chips, applesauce, a few treats, things like that. This is what we do for in the car. And then it's helpful too because once we arrive at our location, their leftover snack bags we can take to the pool with us or use at the beach or save them for the drive home, which is helpful. So that's what we do for in the car. I have talked about these collapsible baskets for years and years and years. I originally I originally got them from Costco, but you can get them from Amazon. I'll link them below. And we use these to just pack as much food and snacks from home as we can. Not necessarily for the drive, but for once we arrive. And it really helps us from having to eat out three or more times a day. We will bring chips, veggie straws, cereal, crackers, even treats from home so that we aren't tempted to buy things that are extremely overpriced from gas stations. And then of course, this helps Bubba and I too on the long drives to stay awake and munch on things. And you've gotta have wireless headphones, AirPods or earpieces, something that allows you to listen. In this case, especially for Bubba, as the driver, he's got two hands on the wheel and sometimes he's driving for eight, 10, 12 hours. So we live and die by Audible, who, thank you so much, is sponsoring this video. A lot of you know that we've been fans for years and years. Bubba's obsessed with Audible especially. I sit in the back with the kids and they usually watch a movie on the drive and I don't want to spend hours watching movies. So I like to put an earpiece in and listen to my favorite books being read to me because especially pregnant, I get so car sick. So it allows me to listen to all the books that I love in my ear while I'm helping my kids. And then Bubba in the front has his own audiobooks, and he can just listen and stay entertained for hours. Keeps the drive very pleasant. I recently listened to What Alice Forgot. That was a fun one for me. What are your favorite Audible books? Will you let me know in the comments below? I definitely need to get some new ones in my account for the drive home. And we don't only use Audible on our driver when we're traveling. I use it when I'm cooking or cleaning at night. They've got audiobooks, they've got sports, they've got comedy. They've got original audio shows, so pretty much something for everybody. Okay, and because I love giving you guys good deals, guess what? We've got a unique link. Go to audible.com slash Jordan Page. Gives you one free audiobook, a 30-day free trial of Audible, and two free Audible originals. Unreal. So go ahead and click that link below, or text Jordan Page to 500-500 to take advantage, and I highly recommend you do. Um, so we just bring a lot of just kind of whatever we have from home we will bring extra snacks for the kids like granola bars for when we arrive we also like to bring bibs for McEwen to eat in the car and otherwise in these baskets we like to pack a bunch of grocery bags and garbage bags for use in the car and then once we get to the hotel or condo this is my favorite thing to bring I'm not a huge soda drinker but especially when you have a long road trip you need some caffeine so these you can just add to water especially if you're going somewhere where the water doesn't taste very good you can get caffeinated packets or non-caffeinated but just drink mixes in general help me drink more water even when I don't like the taste of it 
All right, what else? We bring probiotics and vitamins to keep everybody healthy on the trip, band-aids. We like to bring a variety of Ziploc bags that really come in handy with leftovers or dividing out snacks or just random odds and ends, treasures at the beach, things like that. One thing we like to do is collect samples of laundry detergent. Sometimes at Costco or even just in the mail, they'll be giving out samples. And so I save these and I try to bring a couple when we travel. We like to stay in condos where there is a full kitchen, a couple of bedrooms, and oftentimes a washer and dryer. We are in St. George, Utah, and so I will link this condo that we're staying in below. It's been really great and I do have a discount code for you. But even if you don't have a washer and dryer, you can actually use these. You can kind of make a washing machine in your sink. If you bring just a little bit of detergent you can hand wash your clothes in the tub or in the sink and hang them to dry, which really cuts down on how many clothes you have to bring on a trip. One thing I also like to do is just bring some really mild melatonin for whomever is having trouble sleeping on vacation, one or half of one, and they even have kids melatonin as well. Not to drug them, it doesn't drug them, it's a natural supplement, but just it's really hard to sleep when you're not in your own bed and you're thrown off your schedule. So those are some things that we do for those who are struggling with sleeping. We also love to travel with paper or plastic cups as well as a Sharpie marker. It really comes in handy. We give our kids a cup at the beginning of the week and we just wash them or dry them and reuse them all week long for drinks, but also these are really handy for snacks in the car. Nuggets and fries, you can just keep them in their cup holder. It's good for crayons or coloring, snacks, whatever. These are really handy, especially when you show up to a condo and all they've got are glass dishes. And you've got a bunch of little kids. Mm -mm. Home, I don't play that now. One thing that I do not leave home without when I'm traveling is a cold cup. One that fits in my cup holder. Fill it with ice, and no matter how hot it is in the car or at the pool, Got a cold drink with me all day. One thing we do when we are driving somewhere is we will bring a big cooler. We will just go through our fridge and freezer and fill it full of things that we have need to use up or things that would be really helpful and useful on the trip. And don't mind him, he's playing with a shaker on the floor. It's gonna be real loud. Keep in mind, all of these things we had at home, I did not have to spend a dime on any of this once on vacation. Milk and almond milk, which by the way, you can freeze milk. So if you're worried about it going bad, if you have a really long drive, you can um, freeze it as is, the carton expands, or you can drink some of it freeze the rest, McEwen does almond milk, so we brought that. Water bottles, juice, tortillas travel really well because they don't need to stay cold. Eggs you could travel with by putting them in a sturdy container or you could just buy them once you're there. We make breakfast burritos with egg. We also brought a variety of cheese from home. This was in the freezer, and this was in our fridge. We needed to use it up, so we brought both. And then we can make quesadillas or you know a breakfast burrito. I brought lunch meat from my freezer at home. So we will chop up ham and put it in the breakfast burritos as well. Grilled meat and cheese sandwiches or just plain old sandwiches. This is a Costco soup that I had in my freezer that I brought my bagels from the freezer as I showed you in my day in the life video. And with the bagels, I brought just some cream cheese and some condiments for the sandwiches. Butter that's in a container so it doesn't get smushed. Fruit you could bring with you. Just be careful it doesn't get smashed or you could buy it. I don't have the package for this because we cooked it already, but this was a freezer meal from Costco. It's really good. It's like pasta and chicken and vegetables and all you need to do is essentially heat it up. And these containers were just here at the, at the condo. You could store or hold on to your take home containers or like old sour cream container. Just take those with you on vacation and you can use them as disposable Tupperware. From the freezer we grabbed a bunch of hot dogs. There is a grill here and so it'd be kind of fun to do a cookout at the pool. Ketchup jam to make peanut butter and jelly and we have a huge Costco sized box of Eggo waffles so we just bring a couple packs of those because our condo comes with a toaster. But truthfully, call me crazy, but if you are staying even at a hotel that doesn't have a kitchen, bring your own toaster. It takes one plug. You can make so many things in the toaster. I even have these really cool reusable pouches that actually help you toast and melt sandwiches in the toaster. I will link to those below. Same with a microwave. If you're staying at a hotel, call ahead and ask for a microwave or a mini fridge. Oftentimes they will have them available for you. If not, we actually have a really small microwave that we just throw in the back of the car and bring with us when we go 
places, so I don't know. Okay, back to food. All of this bread was from home, and we do like to eat out on vacation, right? So we'll choose, like today we chose to have a really big lunch at a restaurant. On the drive here, we chose dinner. So we'll usually choose like one meal per day, but when you've got a family of eight, soon to be 10, and you're eating out three meals a day plus snacks, it really adds up. So this is how we're able to spend our money on a nice vacation or on experiences or things that we like to spend money on that last longer rather than just flushing it all on food. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Once we arrive, sometimes we will buy some groceries such as fruit that is not very travel friendly like bananas. Do not travel with bananas. Hi. Hi. In this case, we are lucky because this condo actually, ha oh, are you gonna finish eating your lunch? I was about to clean that up. This condo actually has a high chair. If you, where you are staying does not have a high chair, I will link you to the coolest. It's like a fabric high chair that ties onto any chair. So we travel with that, but in this case, we didn't need it. It's yummy. Lemon. Another thing to consider is you can totally pack food like this even if you're staying at a hotel or somewhere that doesn't have a fridge. We just bring a cooler and then you just take it each morning to the big ice machine that's usually provided on the floors of hotels and you just keep your food or drinks in coolers in the hotel room. Even eggs, we will cook in the microwave in cups as I've shown you before in a hotel room and bring a toaster and we will do eggs on toast without any cooking involved. You crack an egg in a cup, you stir it up and break up the yolk and then you microwave it for between 30 and 60 seconds until it's done and Boom. All right, that is it for food, I believe. Let's talk about packing. I kind of pulled everything out here so I don't have to run all over the house. So I'm just gonna kind of go through and show you some of our favorite things that we use for travel, especially on road trips. Packing pods. And you know what, you guys? I know there are some really expensive ones out there and I'm just gonna say it. You're wasting your money, in my opinion. We found some really inexpensive, sturdy, well-rated ones on Amazon. I will find them and link them below. We have used them a million times and have never had a problem with them ever. With the packing pods, if you go for the inexpensive ones, then you can afford to get several packs. These packs that we love, sorry. Not just playing with McEwen. Come with several different sizes. Every person in the family has their own color. So it's really easy to keep track of whose is whose when packing. So we can fit our entire family in one big suitcase or maybe like a medium suitcase and a big suitcase for all eight of us with these packing pods. Now, if you're going to a place with warm climate and you will be swimming, I really recommend bringing what I call a wet bag, which is a bag that you can throw all your wet stuff in. You could just use a garbage bag that works fine. This is an old Ikea bag. If you are staying somewhere where you have to provide your own towel, we absolutely recommend these little microfiber ones. It's a big towel, it's a full size towel, but it rolls up and folds up so tiny. Sand doesn't stick to them, they absorb so so much water. I swear half the swimming pool can be held in this thing. They dry really fast. If you travel with towels, do these instead of those big fluffy terry ones. Okay, next. I also like to bring a dirty clothes bag with me. You could just use a garbage bag. That works too. I like the scented Febreze ones from Costco, but this is just a really inexpensive extra large laundry bag that I got from Walmart, but I'm sure they're everywhere. I'll find some and link them below. Throughout the trip, everybody just throws their dirty clothes in it. This is our hair bag. I've talked about this a lot in my videos. Just put a smorgasbord of everything we need for hair. This is just water. We put a variety of bows, hair ties, my favorite brush ever, and everything you need just in this one bag. And then we call this an activity bag. We just do one backpack and in it we throw some workbooks. We've got our leapfrog learning systems in here, some reading books. We've got homework that kids need to do. These were just from the dollar store, little license plate games for in the car, but we only do one backpack. Otherwise, things really get out of hand and it's a lot to keep track of. We just try to find things that the kids can share, like blank notebooks, paper, coloring, things like that. And we just leave them out on the table. So in the morning, whoever wakes up first just comes down and colors quietly and it kind of allows everybody else to sleep. My productivity planner, woo coming very soon. You guys are gonna freak out. I can't wait. Hopefully, early 2020, these will be available. Get excited! Yeah! 
a travel steamer. I refuse to iron clothes. You know I love to steam clothes as I explained in my laundry video. And then a fanny pack because sometimes you just don't want to carry a big diaper bag with you. And, oh, can't forget this. Talked about this before too in our Mexico video, but a lot of times there aren't many outlets, especially in hotels. So this is a multi-port plugging station. So all you need is one plug and then you can charge up to six devices at the same time. That is a must when traveling. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video and all of the tips. What are your road trip tips? Road trip tick tip blah road trip tips and hacks. Will you let me know in the comments below? Yeah. And then of course uh, yeah. And then of course don't forget to subscribe. New videos on Thursdays. Say give it a thumbs up. Where's your thumb? <gasps> thumbs up. Say subscribe. Yeah. Say see you later. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Mwah. <laughs> and Bye-bye. Love you guys. Bye-bye.